In this video I'll explain how to change the background color of a ggplot2 text annotation using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing which is called data. And we can click on this data set to show the structure of our data frame and now you can see that our data contains five rows and two columns which are called x and y and both of these columns contain numeric values. Now if we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 5 and 6 of the code. I have installed the package already so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 6 of the code and after running this line of code we can apply the functions of the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 8 and 9. So in these lines of code I'm using the ggplot and the geomline functions to create a ggplot2 blot object. So after running these lines of code you can see at the top right that a new blot object which is called ggp is appearing and we can draw this blot to the bottom right of RStudio by running line 10 of the code and then you can see that we have created a line plot using the ggplot2 package. Now let's assume that we want to annotate a text label to this plot. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 12 to 16. So in line 12 of the code I'm first specifying the plot object that I have created before and then I'm adding to this the annotate function and within the annotate function I'm specifying that I want to annotate a text label then I'm also specifying the x and y axis locations of this text label and I'm specifying the label that I want to show in my plot. So if you run lines 12 to 16 of the code you can see that our plot is updated at the bottom right because now it also shows this text label which is showing the text text overline. And as you can see this text label is overlapping with the lines in our plot and for that reason we might want to change the background color of this text label. And this is what I'm showing in the next step of this tutorial starting in line 18 of the code. So once again in line 18 of the code I'm using our plot object ggp that we have created in the beginning of the tutorial as basis. And then in this case I'm not using the annotate function as I did before but I'm using the geom label function. And within the geom label function, I'm again specifying the location of our label, I'm specifying the text that I want to show, and then I'm specifying the fill argument to be equal to yellow. So at this point, I'm specifying the color that I want to use as background color. So if you run lines 18 to 22 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated once again. And now our text label is shown with a box around the text label and a yellow background. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.